Pitch, Roll and Yaw In year 1969, Ackerman and Prophet proposed the evaluation of the dental and skeletal relationships in all the three planes of space, namely the anteroposterior, transverse and vertical plane. So as to strengthen the evaluation done in the anteroposterior plane only as per the angles classification. This concept was then published in year 2007 by Ackerman and Prophet in an article titled Pitch, Roll and Yaw describing the spatial orientation of the dentofacial traits. Now consider an airplane suspended in space. Now this airplane can translate or move along three planes namely front and back, side to side and up and down. And along with this, it can also rotate around the three axes namely the horizontal, axial and the vertical plane. Now it is the movement around these three axes which describes the term pitch, roll and yaw. So analogous to the airplane, complete description of the patient's problem list requires consideration of both translation in the three dimension as well as rotation around these three perpendicular axes. Now before getting into the terms, let us know what is an aesthetic line. Now this line passes along the incisal edges and the cusp tips of the maxillary teeth and in the given figure it is depicted by a curved green line. Now the rotation of the aesthetic line of dentition is useful to evaluate the relation of teeth to the soft tissues that frame their display. Pitch describes the up and down deviation around the anterior posterior axis. Pitch reveals the upward and downward rotation of the dentition relative to the lips and cheeks which can be viewed clinically. Cephalometrically, it describes the orientation of the palatal, occlusal and mandibular plane relative to the true horizontal. Now in this given figure which has been given in the aforementioned article, the first picture displays a downward pitch such that the aesthetic line disappears behind the lower lip, while in the second patient, a downward pitch posteriorly can be seen. Now the second term is roll. Roll describes the up and down movement on one side or the other around the transverse axis. Now to evaluate roll relative to the soft tissues, intercommissial line is the best reference. Although interocular line is the usual reference utilizing the Fox plane. Now the first figure shows that a patient has a downward roll of dentition on the right side. The second picture shows that the patient has a downward roll dentition on right side and slightly up on the left. And the third picture demonstrates the usage of Fox plane which shows the orientation of the occlusal plane relative to the interocular line. The third term is yaw. Yaw describes the movement in left or right directions around the vertical axis which produces skeletal and dental midline shift. It can also cause unilateral class 2 or class 3 molar relationships. Extreme yaw causes asymmetrical posterior crossbite that is buccal on one side and lingual on the other. In the given figure, the first patient shows yaw of the maxillary dentition to the left with slight yaw of the mandible in the same direction. The second patient shows severe yaw of the maxillary dentition to the right. Along with this, she also has a downward roll of dentition on the right side. So that was all about pitch, roll and yaw in orthodontics.